My name is Helen Buttigieg. I'm a professional organizer. This is Pat and Sean, and this is Pat and Sean's home. Sometimes I do think it brings on anxiety attacks. Come along for the ride as I turn this house of stress into a home that's cluttered less. I'm on my way to see Pat and Sean today. They both work outside the home and they have two little girls, Alexandra and Olivia. Sean called me because he's concerned that the clutter is actually giving his wife anxiety attacks. Sounds pretty serious, but I'm up for the challenge. I never envisioned my house to look like this. There's just mess everywhere I turn. It's not necessary. This must be code for something. Paper should go in the garbage. These pictures are a year old. This flyer is effective August 28th to September 3. It is now September 22 and still sitting on the desk. We need Helen because the clutter is come to a point where it's basically overwhelming. You're not getting another hamster if the cat eats it. My anxiety attacks don't come just in one evening. It just builds up day after day after day. The house is always messy and I just can't find a solution for it. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Sean. Nice Sean, to meet you. come on in and we'll show you around. Sounds great, thanks. This is the living room, and you okay. can see the problems we have in this living room. As you can see, this is a playroom, an office, and a living area. And a zoo. So tell me what your challenges are. Uh, my problems with this room is the wiring is the computer table. I have a hamster on a box and then the girl's toys. So what do we have here? Whose desk is this? That's my desk. You got some papers, some CDs. It looks like you're using your desktop for storage. Exactly, yes. <laughs> do you ever use this area at all, Pat? Nothing on this desk belongs to me and it's one of my pet peeves in this house. Okay, so I can see it's a bone of contention here yeah. in this desk. How does this room make you feel right now? For me, I don't like it at all. It's not relaxing. Sometimes I do think it brings on anxiety attacks for me. I don't want to look everywhere and see little piles of things. And to be able to have guests come over to the house. You don't have guests over? No, not looking like this. So I can see that this is an area that we definitely have to target and make it better for you. The living room has too many functions and not enough boundaries. I'm gonna give the family a room they can all enjoy. What's next? And we'll go up to the bedroom now. Okay. Is this your bedroom you're going to? It's our bedroom. And this is the bedroom. It's pink. It's pink. It's disgusting. And it's a color that I don't like either, and I have no idea why it's why I ever painted this color. Okay, so tell me what's not working in here. The clothing, the two TVs, one is a stand and one is actually working TV. So what do we have here? This is my area. There's clothes here that have to be hung up. Whose closet is this? It's my closet. It's yours? How can we make this closet work for you, Pat? Well, there's clothes everywhere, so I need them to find a home. How much of this wardrobe do you think you're wearing right now? 10%. The closets are so crammed that stuff is oozing out of them. I'd like to make these closets work. This is Sean's closet, right Sean? That's my closet. Wow, okay, we got a lot happening down there. Yeah, this closet hasn't been touched in uh, 12 years. I want to give you guys a place where you can get away from the craziness of everyday life and away from the kids and just have your own personal, tranquil oasis where you come in here and it's all calm and peaceful and clutter-free. Exactly. But I got my work cut out for me here. I can appreciate how much courage it took on Pat's part to let me into her house. My strategy is to tackle that living room so it becomes a place that they're not embarrassed to have people over. My next area of attack is the master bedroom. 
I want to give them a place where they could relax and spend some quiet time together without all that clutter screaming at them. Oh, where? They're soft. Whose name do you wear these? They're I cannot really let you keep this. What? Oh! Clutter can be both the cause and effect of anxiety. In Pat's case, not only does the clutter stress her out, but not knowing how to deal with it compounds the problem. My anxiety attacks don't come just in one evening. It just builds up day after day after day. Clutter is out of control and she doesn't know where to begin. The general clutter in my home doesn't really affect me as much as it affects, I know it affects Pat a lot. As long as everything's clean for him, he doesn't care if there's a stack of magazines or a pile of toys. Well, in a perfect world, I wouldn't see this. The clutter downstairs isn't the only problem for Pat. The mess and lack of organization in the bedroom also fuels her anxiety. Pretty in pink, this room is not. The big source of the clutter, these closets. Next, this bed, out it goes. The furniture, bye-bye. What I'm going for here is a very zen feel. First, a sleek bed. I'm gonna put the TV on a dresser, a chair so you can watch TV when you don't feel like lying in bed. And finally, I'm gonna outfit the closet with a couple of swanky dressers. starting upstairs in the bedroom. We're going to empty all the closets and drawers. All the clothes will be sorted on the bed. The rest of the stuff will go downstairs in the living room to be sorted like with like. The problem here is that the door doesn't even open all the way. Right. And it's, is it getting in the way of you getting your clothes, Sean? This yes, is it your is. Closet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Part of the problem with these closets is that the doors swing in, making access awkward. Removing the door and reinstalling the hinges on the outside so that the door swings out will provide easier access to the closet. Did you know you had all this stuff? When you see it all in one spot, yeah, you don't realize and how much. This is only half the, half the stuff that's in here. Okay, so here's how it's gonna go. We're gonna go through your clothing and the decision is either you're gonna keep it, give it away, or if it's beyond repair, toss it. And uh, this little skirt. Give away. Okay. Give away. Oh, this is going good. Give away. Keep. Okay, and what do you want and to do And that this? is a definite giveaway. Never worn. Never worn. How come? Would you wear it? <laughs> no, not really. Okay. How did it arrive here? I was a mother-in-law gift. Oh. I'm dead. T-shirts, T-shirts, and more T-shirts. More T-shirts. <laughs> Let's start with this holy shirt. That's a toss. That's Yay! a toss. Yay! How about this one? Let me make the job easier. Do you pay extra? <laughs> Where? They're soft. What name do you wear these? I wear them in the house. In the winter, I wear them in the house in the winter. I They're cannot really let you keep this. What? Oh. What happened? <laughs> oh, I'm so They're sorry. Gone. Guess we're gonna have to throw them out now. Bye bye. Time to go through the shoes. All right, okay. so let's make this as quick and painless as possible. Keep, keep, toss. Black suede again. <laughs> bye bye. You know, the problem here is that you buy a lot of your shoes in the same store and then you can't tell what you have in the yeah. boxes. Identifying shoes with photos on the outside of their boxes will be a more effective way to store them. Now that I'm on Pat's side, motivating her to purge, I can see that the anxiety is lifting. She's always wanted to throw things out, I can tell, but she just didn't know where to begin. Now the piles are getting smaller and smaller, and the anxiety is just disappearing. Digging into clutter can sometimes unearth things from our past and stir up all kinds of emotions. It's part of the process. Pat, I'm just wondering about this. Oh, that's What's from my from? father's funeral. Wow, okay, so, um, did you want to box so. it, or do you, did you want to, you okay? You all right? That's a tough way to start. I know. All right, do you need a moment? Get rid of it. Hmm? Put it away. Put it away for now. Okay. We'll talk about it later.
the uh, day was tough because we found this um, floral bouquet that was on my father's coffin. It just brought back a memory, but I'm better now. Today has been uh, an exhausting day. We got a lot of work done. It was a good experience. It's something that we probably would never have done, but we just needed that extra push, and I already feel better that this room is empty. Have you ever considered doing something with that light fixture? Ow! Pat's clutter was making her anxious, but with me holding her hand, she was able to purge a lot of stuff. That is a definite giveaway. Never worn. Now with the bedroom cleared, I can concentrate on the living room. There is just too much going on in this room. This TV is angled in a way that is very difficult to watch. Plus the cords are dangling from the back. Same thing with the desk. The toys, they're all over the place, so I gotta find a home for them. This big couch and coffee table, not very inviting. Bye bye So the first thing I wanna bring in is this workstation. It's a roll top desk. The computer disappears when it's not in use. This TV storage area will not only house all their electronic things, but the cords aren't gonna show. The couch and the coffee table are positioned directly in front of the TV. The table, I'm gonna put baskets underneath with toys and the fish on top. Good morning! Good morning. How are you doing today? Good, good. 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 you ready for another fun filled go. day? Come on yeah. in, guys, let's get started. Today we're going to purge through all the bins that have been sorted like with like. Then we're going to deal with the contents of the living room. Move these out of the way so we have a place to look through everything and I need some decisions from you guys today as to what we're going to keep and what we're going to toss. Well, what's all this? Uh, photos. Who's this? That's Billy Idol. And you're not throwing that out. Rollers. And rollers. Both box and in the bottom of your closet. My guess is you're wearing your hair straight. <laughs> <laughs> Just wear the wig and then you don't need to keep this, right? It's working for you. Okay, Sean, it's time to address your office. So we're keeping these CDs? Keeping the CDs. All right. Let me see that one. That one might be garbage. And what are all these little notes? Those are garbage. Credit card? That's garbage. garbage. Unopened mail? Garbage? Garbage. Having no boundaries around Sean's desk is a problem it becomes a dumping zone for everyone using the living room. So we got fishy food. Fish food, I don't need it's that. Open. So what is the fate of this piece? If uh, I need a knife, I can fix it. It can go, it yeah? needs to go. What I want to talk about is all of these boxes that the jewelry comes in. Mm -hmm. Do you find that it's time consuming to find what you want to wear? Yeah, you have to open every box. And do you sometimes forget what you got? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So what I would recommend is to get yourself a jewelry organizer that actually sits in the top drawer of your dresser. Then you open it and you can actually see at a glance what you own. Have you ever considered doing something with that light fixture? It's awfully low. I've considered but haven't done. Ow! Now that all the clutter is leaving the house, Sean and Pat are ready for some organizational solutions. Keeping your closet organized is an act of self-care. Having an efficient closet means Pat and Sean could start the day off looking after themselves. All right, guys, come on over here. I want to show you this. These are over-the-door hooks. They just slide on very easily so you don't have to worry about installation. So you know, Sean, how you had your clothes all over the floor? Look at how easy this is. You just take it and throw it. Beautiful. Is that going to work for you, Sean? Definitely, especially the throwing part. I like that. Pat, I have something for you, too. Okay. Check this out. These are also over-the-door hooks, and I love these for purses. Look at that. Now you, put, you can put the two purses that you use most on the back of your door. Remember the shoes? They mm -hmm. were a real problem because yeah. you couldn't see into the boxes? Right. Check this out. They're still in a box. However, we took a photo oh, of the perfect. shoes. Cool. Look at that. Very nice. Very organized because mm -hmm. you know exactly what's inside. What I've done here is hung a second rod. So you can see how we're still using the space here at the bottom, but it's not about piling things in a heap. We're using warm earth tones in the bedroom to create a relaxing, soothing ambiance. 
building storage solutions for the living room will provide a home for everything. Now that this room is a clean slate, I can set up boundaries. You guys did so well about the Pershing. Great job. You're not going to recognize this place when we come back. I can't wait. Keys? You sure you want to pass them over? Uh, yeah. I trust you. Okay, well, have fun. We'll Thank see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, oh wow. God. I can't believe what you've done. I, I know for sure I, we would never be able to do anything like this. Not everyone who's disorganized has trouble letting go. In Pat's case, she was dying to let go of the clutter. She just didn't know where to begin. I never envisioned my house to look like this. Once I was by her side, giving her permission to say bye-bye, she became a purging machine. And that helped her and Sean be well on their way to their organizing goals and having that home that they always dreamed of. I'm excited all in one. I'm hoping it's going to be somewhere where I can relax. I'm hoping for a nice, nice change. How are you guys feeling? I'm oh, nervous. We're nervous and anxious. Nervous and anxious? Yeah. It's a good combination because yeah. you're going to love it. Uh, oh my God. It's a different room. This room had no set boundaries to separate the office, the entertainment area, and the playroom. I've created zones to divide this space into three areas. Sean's desk has been relocated on the other side of the room. The center of the room is for relaxing and entertaining. And finally, we have an area for pets and play. With everything in its place, Pat can say goodbye to her anxiety. Now, is this a space that you could see yourself bringing people in and entertaining? Definitely. I can't believe what you've done. I, I know for sure, I, we would never be able to do anything like this. I just can't wait to live in the yeah, space. I want to Sit live down, in space. relax, invite people over, yeah. but just unwind. It's amazing. Look at this. Very. This is your workstation. Holy, oh, I was going to ask you. I didn't even you, see it. I was, that's what I was going to say. Where, where did my computer go? So this replaces the desk that you felt was ugly and didn't fit in a family room. Here's your keyboard. Oh, nice. very nice. Okay. Unbelievable. And the rest of it is under here. Look, the printer. And on the other side, there's the tower. We relocated the TV so that it's not in the middle of the room with all those cords hanging. Mm -hmm. You can sit comfortably directly in front of the TV. And you have storage now. Yes. That's what was missing. There was nowhere to put things. And that's why things were kind of all over the place. The toys were strewn all over the room. Now the girls have baskets to store their toys when they're finished playing. You can put my name on this chair. Now the master bedroom. Okay. Come have a look at this. Okay, you remember your pink room? Mm -hmm. It's not pink anymore. Oh, oh wow. God. It looks good. It looks great. I don't know what to say. It's incredible. It's beautiful. This room is hotel chic. Even though they're still at home, Pat and Sean will feel like they're on vacation in this warm and inviting room. The four-poster bed was overwhelming and has been replaced with a modern, sophisticated bed. The TV tower was an eyesore and a hazard. We've replaced it with a new TV and provided them with a dresser to match the style of the room. I also gave Sean a place to empty out his pockets at the end of each day. I wanted to give you a room that was romantic, clutter-free, that had a real kind of zen feel. Now, Pat, you'll remember that your jewelry was in little boxes, right. and it was hard to know what was in those boxes, okay? Now, look how easy it'll be to find jewelry to match your outfits. Wow. This slides, so you can see what's underneath. Mm -hmm. You've got all your chains and watches here, and little cubbies for your rings and for your earrings. and Sean's closets were overstuffed. Now they've become beautiful little nooks with a dressing room feel. Very different. Oh my God. Like you can actually walk in. They're organized, efficient, 
and there's a home for everything in here. The flowers and the pictures just give it a real comfortable feel in here. Yeah, it's like I close the door and go in there and just spend a few moments in there. It's okay, it's not a closet. Where's Pat? <laughs> it's one thing to have your public space look great for your guests, but why not treat yourself to a room like this for you? So are you happy, Pat? Yes, I'm very happy. Thank you. Sean? I'm ecstatic. It's incredible. Yay! <laughs> I'm so very happy good. for you guys. Thank you very I'm much. I'm so Thank good. You. Group hug, group hug. <laughs> I think this room will help with my anxiety because now it's just relaxing. I don't have to look at the wires that were bothering me and I don't have to look at the little areas of mess. Now everything is, it's put away. It's exactly what I wanted. Helen has created such a warm and relaxing atmosphere in the two rooms that is really going to change our lives. We're going to be able to now relax, sit back, and enjoy. It's very inviting.